Hey there YouTube, California Prepper. Well, I haven't done an EDC update in a while, and to tell you the truth, my EDC has changed quite a bit in the last uh, few weeks. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I'm carrying now, and uh, just tell you thing, uh, a few things that have changed. Um, so, without further ado, let's hop right on into it, shall we? Um, let me show you the main knives. Now, you guys know I have ridiculous, it's not as big as other collections, but it's, you know, all damn near 40 knives. So, I can't carry every knife that I like with me as much as I'd like to. And me, as much as I, I don't want to be one of those guys, I do baby my knives, and there's certain ones that, even if I carry them, they don't see any cut time. And there's just certain knives that I carry that see all the cut time. So let me show you the the main six. Um, you know, these knives are the workhorses of, you know, uh, of my collection. These knives do the work, have, have done some cutting. I, I'm not scared uh, to, to mess them up. Yeah, I'm scared to mess them up, but they're, you know what I mean. You know, they, they've seen some work time, and I, I don't baby them as much. I still baby, you know, a few of them, but not as much as uh, the rest of them. So let's hop right on into the blades first off. Adjust this. Got this new little uh, portable tripod, so instead of having a carry around that giant thing, uh, I have this little 8-inch tripod. I'll have to do a little review on that, uh, but it makes these videos a lot easier. So, um, these are about the main six that I've been carrying. This one, only for the fact that it's a, a new knife. I've had it for about two days, and it's a beater. It's $17.95, and it's a great little knife, but like I said, it's a beater. It's $18. I'm not scared, it, it, you know, if this gets ruined. Um, if I lose this, to tell you the truth, I, I, I'd be sad, but I could always get another one for under $20. Uh, this end line right here... This is the workhorse of my collection. I carry this thing every day. This thing, I, I love this knife. I honestly do. Uh, Superfly gives me shit about it all the time. Because, uh, you know, Enlons are Chinese knives, whatnot. But this is a great knife. And, man, I might have to just send him one just to see if I can't change his mind. Um, another one that is a big workhorse in the collection is the Kershaw 3 quarters ton. This knife has probably seen more cutting than the rest here. This thing is the workhorse and uh, touched it up on the sharp maker and this thing is razor sharp. Um, that sharp maker is amazing guys. I mean you guys know Kershaw's are sharp right out of the box, but how much cutting this had seen, uh, it was pretty dull, and I got it back to razor's edge, and I, I dig this blade a lot. Three quarters ton, this is under 15 bucks as well, great little knife. This knife here, now this is probably one of my favorite EDCs, man, I absolutely dig the Kiwi 3. This is a sweet, sweet little EDC. Uh, this sees quite a bit of cutting. Uh, it's just a perfect little knife. You can whip this out. It's just perfect. I dig it. It's so comfortable, and it's just a badass little blade. I really dig it. Uh, my my blade preferences is really changing, and uh, I really just dig this little knife. I used to be all about the big giant knives, and now I'm uh, seeing uh, these little knives do have their purposes. Another little knife that I've grown quite fond of is the Spyderco Native. These are the older ones, and I really dig this older one with the swedge up top and the hollow ground blade. Uh, the newer ones just, they fall in line with, you know, the tenacious and the ambitious and the persistence. It just looks like another one of those knives with the full flat ground blade. So I really dig this older model, the swedge on top. It really just, really looks badass. My wife has one as well, and she really absolutely loves this knife. Uh, great little knife. And what's cool about this is it's small, but you can feel like you can defend yourself with this. You know, it's it's perfect. I love that extra finger toil up top where you can choke up, and it's just a great, all-around great little knife. Razor sharp as well. Now, this is the big daddy of the group. 
gotta have a big knife with you this thing is just all around badass it's intimidating it's I mean it can be put to the test and it's it's a workhorse the Manix 2XL is awesome I absolutely love this knife fixed up the blade uh, running it over the sharp maker thank goodness and I'm just so happy uh, that I had this knife back in action absolutely love this knife great great knife right here so those are the knives I got about four and a half minutes to show you the rest of the stuff I carry on a daily basis so let me go on back you guys up a little bit all right <clears throat> now the rest of the stuff I carry obviously the phone LG Android uh, it's not the Android I'm not sh I forget what what it is but it's an Android touch phone gotta have the headphones watching videos listening to music Zippo whether it be this one or my other one always have a Zippo on me gotta have the shades these are my new shades absolutely love these these are made by body glove and they're awesome great glasses of course you guys know carry the taser gotta have a taser saved my butt one night flashlight this is actually a Kershaw light came in my Kershaw tack pack great little light have the wallet it's actually just a card holder and um, I actually got one of these cool little uh, card tool things um, it was actually sent to me uh, for free from uh, one of my sellers in, um, in China the guy that I buy my end loans from sent me this for free uh, just for uh, buying some knives oh man I got myself somehow so there's that so that's part of the EDC what else do I have on my aha the keys this is uh, where most of the updates are um, I you guys know I'm, I'm a big uh, I'm a <laughs> what is it I, I, I always say women should carry pepper spray men should carry pepper spray and you guys know for the longest time I had pepper spray on my key ring but my keys were just getting too much guys it was too much in my pocket all this having to squeeze down in one pocket I had a glob of stuff in my pocket at all times so I did take off the pepper spray I do carry it with me it's uh, just in my backpack or slid in my pocket uh, but I had to take it off the key ring considering I have so much other junk on here so let me run down what I have on the old keys now Still on the key ring, still have ferro rod and striker, gotta have that. Um, one of my newest things is this little pry bar. So stoked when I got this. Little pry bar with some paracord on it. Still have the little um, wannabe Swiss Army knife. I uh, took the string off of this light and I uh, put a chain on it and attached it to my keys and this thing's awesome. Great little light, got this out of a contest runs off one AAA battery and it's just brighter than shit absolutely love it uh, P51 military can opener and um, one of the newest additions other than the pry bar would be this little Kershaw blade this is the Kershaw Ace 1710 and I got this for eight bucks off Amazon won the auction and it's awesome this little knife reminds me um, of the Skyline as well let me grab my Skyline and show you guys what I mean it looks just like a little mini skyline it's a lock back knife fits perfect on your key ring and it's just like a mini skyline absolutely dig this knife came razor sharp and uh, it's a Kershaw it's one of their older models um, you do have a pivot screw up here so you can adjust it a little bit there's not too much room for adjusting uh, but the rest the other screw I guess is just um, what do they call that uh, rivets I, I guess um, it's just riveted shut so you can't uh, take this knife apart so you can tell it's one of the older ones but it's a discontinued model I bid on it at, I mean it was like a 25 day bid 26 you know six days later I get an email saying I want it totally forgot about it but for eight bucks delivered hey it's a great little knife piece of Kershaw history and uh, I love Kershaw so couldn't help it absolutely love it so that's that guys, just wanted to do a little EDC update, show you guys uh, what's new in my EDC, what's changed, and uh, I still carry this stuff on the daily guys, so hope you guys stay prepared, 
and uh, carry your EDC every